I've got a few minutes before work. Um, and I want to talk about, this will be my second video um, for we new creators here on YouTube and all we have to learn. Um, you know, as I said before, I procrastinated my YouTube channel for two or three years. Intimidated by all of the processes, you know, of course you can just go flying into something and slapping videos up, whatever, but really if you want a quality product, um, you really need to put some thought into it, do a little research, and I took time to do some of that. But then, like I said, you get to a point where you just gotta do it, okay? After you feel like you've researched enough, dive in there and you have to learn as you go, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, anyway, so what I've learned so far, some things that are really important to me. My first few videos, I did enough research to know that I could use a video editing program to add music, to add text, to add flashy things, to make transitions. All of that intimidated the hell out of me. But once I downloaded a video editing app called InShot, I'm really fond of that one, I learned that it was really nothing. It was really a cakewalk. The transition screens, patching two different videos together, doing all of that editing process, I swear to God, editing ha is, is something that has scared me to death for years, okay? I just have not wanted to face it. And honestly, when you dive in there, and you start working with these video editing programs, they're really not that big of a deal, really. It's trial and error. Um, and so anyway, the first few videos I put up on YouTube, <clears throat> I did not know. I thought that the music tracks that came with the InShot video editing app, I thought that was no big deal. I wouldn't get in any trouble on YouTube. There would be no future problems. Come to find out after doing some more research, there could be an issue. Um, after each track on the InShot editor, it does say, please copy paste artist name and song, give them credit in your project. So I always did that. And I made several videos using several songs from that app. So come to find out after doing more research though on YouTube and various places, Honestly, if you want to avoid trouble later on, either when your channel might get monetized in the future, someone coming at you uh, with copyright issues or wanting to take the credit, take the money off that video, take that video down, shut your channel down, there are things that can happen. Okay, so I had to go deep into this research and find out What's the deal with this music, these music tracks that these video editing apps offer people? I mean, I would think that if they're offering the damn music on the app, it should be free and, and trouble free, copyright free for us to use. But that is not necessarily the case. So please be aware of that. Do your research and, and know what music you're using. And honestly, after my research, I found that there really is no safe music to use, okay? There is nothing safe to use on your projects where in the future, they might not say anything for a long time, but in the future, someone could come back on you if your channel grows or you get monetized, someone could come at you about it and trouble could happen. Um, come to find out a lot of these video editing programs, apps, they buy the license to use those tracks in their app and they give people certain permissions with them. There are things in the fine print in these apps that say this music may not be used for commercial, TV, radio, certain things like that. You really have to pay attention when you're making projects in these apps and using their music. So what that would mean is, sure, they have paid for the license in the InShot app to use those tracks and let people use them for their projects. However, if a person makes a project, a video, whatever, that becomes monetized, commercialized, radio, TV, anything like that, that's what that tells me, is that in the future, there will be an issue with the copyright. There will be an issue with the money, the royalties, what's going on here. So make sure you are doing your research, read the fine print, know what you're doing, 
and yes, I had to just stop everything. I got really depressed. I had been rolling videos out. I was very excited that the music, the video editing program was easier than I thought. I was able to add music tracks. I was really rolling them out, you guys, and having fun. And then come to find all of this out, that I needed to halt all production, stop, stop making content for a moment, and get another lesson learned. This is part of being a new creator on YouTube. You will learn as you go. Do as much research as you can ahead of time, but there are going to be mistakes that you make and you're going to want to quickly correct them, okay? Because you don't want your channel at stake and you want to be able to, you know, put out the best quality stuff and, and, and make as, as few mistakes as possible. So anyway, that's that. I even emailed the um, developer of the app, InShot, to ask those questions. What rights do we have with this music you provide? What are our rights? What can we do with this music? I need to know. I want to know straight up. You know, that's do stuff like that, okay? Cover your tracks. Um, do what you have to do to find out what your rights are before you create an entire project or several projects, and then you find out you're in big trouble. You, you get in some kind of trouble with YouTube or you lose the money on it eventually if you get monetized or you got to go back and fix a whole bunch of stuff or delete all of it entirely. You just don't want that to happen. That's what happened to me. Now, all the, a lot of the content that I was putting up had music tracks from InShot in it. I gave the artist credit like I was informed to do. However, <clears throat> when I read the fine print that said this may not be used for commercial, radio, TV, yada yada, that just tells me that way later on or whenever, if at all, I get monetized one day, that tells me that somebody's going to come at me with a problem. YouTube or somebody is going to come at me with a copyright issue, the royalties on that sound, that music, there's going to be a problem in the future, so I might as well nip it in the bud now and know what music is safe for me to use, okay? So, I also became aware of the fact that YouTube has an audio library that they provide for us. These are things that new creators don't know sometimes. Hey, okay, I'm learning as I go. <laughs> um, now, I will tell you, this is directed at people that are working on Android only or on whatever, a phone. iPhone may do something different. I am working strictly with an Android right now to film my content, I'm telling you guys, this is low budget. That's all I really wanted when I first started. I wanted to do enough research to do things right, but I didn't want some overblown, you know, that's not gonna happen off the top. I wanted to start my channel simple, make the content quality, and build up from there. Maybe learning music and transitions and editing later on. So that's all that really mattered to me, is just getting up some quality content. But, you know, we have to learn as we go and if you're a creative person like me then you're really you want to know what is legal and what how far you can take the creativity in a legal way if you're like me I'm a music person a creative person and you're gonna want to add music to your projects if you can right if you have the choice between just a simple project that's quiet and bunk which hey the quality of your content is going to speak, but you know what I'm saying? If you have the choice between just a quiet project or some music in the background in the intro or the outro and adding a few things here and there, if you're like me, you're going to want to do that, okay? So I'm going to tell you the best way to do that where you will never run into conflict in the future or legal issues or getting your video shut down or any kind of problems like that. Um, what I found out by doing my research first of all let me mention the Jamba project the channel here on YouTube the Jamba project I ran across and very valuable information for me because I wanted to know I was having trouble you guys I had this content up I've got music tracks from InShot video editing app that I'm unsure about and now I don't want to have to delete the six or eight videos that I threw up with those music tracks 
I need to know, can I go to the YouTube audio library and replace these tracks with something I know is safe, okay? So that's when I learned, and again, I'm just on Android here, okay? I can't see a lot. There's a lot you can't see and do on Android, but I'm going to tell you how to get around that. Um, so stick around. So uh, the Jamba project I ran across and come to find out that yes, on my Android, because I was having major trouble. I have the YouTube Studio app, I have YouTube, I have TubeBuddy, um, and the InShot video editing program app. So. I would go to my YouTube Studio app and I don't see the YouTube audio library of music anywhere. I'm just like, oh my God, is this it for me? Is this all I can do on my phone? Because I don't have a laptop, I don't have a desktop right now. You know, later on, sure, I will invest in that where I can see more and do more. And if I need to really fix things, I can run and borrow a desktop at some, you know, a friend's house or whatever. But I was like, oh my God, am I at a dead end? Is this really all I can do? I can't legally use the music tracks without running into trouble in the future on the InShot editor that I love so much. I was so thankful and so happy about those music tracks. So I can't use that stuff. So is that really it? Just a dead end on music? I will never be able to add music to my projects again from you know working with Android because when you have the YouTube Studio app, you cannot access the YouTube audio library. There's nothing you can do with music on the Android with the YouTube Studio app. You're done. You're done. And that really depressed me, you guys, because not only did I have several videos with tracks to get rid of, and this was really intimidating me, I did not want to lose that content, man, but I didn't want to get in trouble later on either. I had tracks from the InShot editor to go in there and get rid of. And I had to find a way to do it. And I needed to go to YouTube Audio Library and replace these tracks quickly is what I wanted to do. So, I ran across the Jamba Project here on YouTube. And on his channel, I believe it's a he, on that channel, they step-by-step -step show you how to, on Android, how to access the YouTube Audio Library for music. Yes, and the things you can do. So I wanted to go ahead and give credit to that person, <clears throat> the Jamba Project, because once I found out how to get around this issue, I learned a lot on my own right after that. So, I'm going to tell you the very basic part of what you do, and then if you want further detail, a fabulous tutorial on how to access the YouTube audio library to add music tracks to your project. If you are working from an Android phone only, then you can go to the Jamba Project here on YouTube and find a step-by-step -step tutorial, very helpful, very informative. Now, <clears throat> what I did was you go to your Google search bar. You search up YouTube Studio okay and it will take you to the desktop version however here's something a problem I ran across that you might as well as long as I had that YouTube studio app on my phone when I would search for YouTube studio desktop on Google it would just take me straight to my app it would just keep opening that YouTube studio app so I personally deleted my app temporarily I deleted the YouTube studio app boom gone okay then I went back in and I searched YouTube studio desktop on Google right boom so it's gonna take me to the desktop version of YouTube studio but it may not come up in the desktop version you need right at first there's gonna be three little dots at the top of the page that you're gonna have to click into it's gonna ask you which version you want and you're going to click desktop. For this tutorial on how to do this and how I got this information, go to the Jamba Project here on YouTube. So, <clears throat> I 
I was thrilled. I was so thrilled. I was so thankful for this information. So I deleted the YouTube Studio app. Now, at the Jamba Project channel, he wrote me and said, you do not have to delete your app. There's a way around this. You can keep your YouTube Studio app and still access YouTube Studio desktop version on Android, okay? Hey, if that's possible, then great. I'll figure it out later on, but for the time being, I was in a hurry and I deleted my app so I could search up YouTube Studio and get there quickly, get around that app. Um, he says there's a way it can be done where you do not have to delete your app. Good stuff to know, guys. I mean, if you care about adding music to your projects, you know, and you care about learning some editing, yeah. If not, you know, whatever, but... So anyway, now that I've told you about that... Alright, now what you can do... Once you get to YouTube Studio desktop version on your Android, of course it's going to be small. You know, it's, it's going to be like a, a, trying to look at a desktop computer on a tiny phone. You're going to have to move the screens around and enlarge things to see. It's not going to be easy, but I'm just telling you, there is a way around certain things if you want to access the desktop version of YouTube Studio and you need to access the YouTube Audio Music Library of free, copyright free music. Do not despair like I did. And I know there's somebody out there wondering, hitting a roadblock, a new creator, hitting a roadblock, and yes, it can be done from Android, okay? So, once I got to the desktop, site on my Android. I was able to go in, you have some choices, okay? You can edit your video music right there on the YouTube Studio desktop site on your Android. You can pick tracks of music, open up the YouTube audio library, they have different buttons you can push to access different genres, different moods of music, different lengths and durations of the tracks. <clears throat> um, all of that music in the YouTube audio library, to my understanding and from my research, is copyright free. You will not get in trouble. You will not get your channel shut down. They will not come at you later and try to take the money if you get monetized none of that will happen now they may come and put a credit to the artist on your project other than that the YouTube audio library is where it's at that's where you need to get your music for your project it's the really the only safe music you can take your chance on other stuff but I'd rather not do that okay so once I got onto the YouTube studio desktop site on my Android two things you can do you can edit the video right there look through the music tracks in the YouTube audio library pick something out put it onto your video right then and there and you're good to go however I will tell you doing that in that way right there on the YouTube desktop site you do not have as much control over that music track. You can only add it. You can move it over a little bit, but it's very hard to work with it on a phone with no mouse. It's very difficult to do your music editing right there in the YouTube Studio Music Editor. I'm just telling you that you can do it right there on YouTube's website. Desktop site on the Android. Pick out a track add it to your video you're good to go it'll hook it up for you but I found it to be rather difficult I can't adjust the volume on the track that you know it's so small on the Android and I don't have a mouse and trying to move that track I found that I do not have as much control over the music track staying on YouTube trying to adjust the music like that okay but here's a way around that now it's perfectly fine if you just want to go if you've got a video ready to go and you just want to pull it up in the YouTube studio 
desktop, that's where you need to go. It's hard to, it's hard to edit any music on your YouTube Studio app for Android. You're not going to be able to do it. None. No. No. And it's even going to tell you there are no audios available at this time, but this is the way around that. Go to the desktop site on Android and handle your biz. It's perfectly fine if you want to pull up a video, slap a track to it. You can somewhat adjust the volume a little bit so the track's not just blasting you out. That's not a big deal. But I'll tell you a way around that where you will have much more control over the music track. You can do so much more with that music track, okay? Film your video, whatever. You have, say you have InShot or some video editing program on your phone, on your Android, whatever. Go to the YouTube Studio Audio Library on the desktop site on Android. And I told you where you can go to find out exactly how you get there from the Jamba Project. Go to that site, the desktop site, Audio Library. Download the track you want. Yes, yes, I was so thrilled to find all these things out, you guys. Download the track that you want to your phone. Then go to your video editing app of your choice that you like. I have InShot. Go to your video editing app, pull up your project, your video, then pull up the downloaded track. When you do it this way, you're going to have so much more control over that music track. You can clip it, you can loop it, you can put half of it here and half of it there, duplicate it. Oh my God, you can do so much more with that music track. You can turn the volume up on it a little more, or down a little more, just right. Things you will not be able to do if you edit your music inside the desktop YouTube Studio app on your Android. You just won't be able to have that much control over the music. You can add music there, but you won't have that much control. So I suggest down, go to the YouTube Studio desktop site on Android, download your music track, and pull it up in the video editing app. You will be very pleased with the results. You will have so much more control over that music track, okay? And for all of your hard work, you're not going to have to worry in the future that a copyright claim, a strike, anything on YouTube, shutting your channel down, royalties, people trying to sue you, any kind of trouble, that is copyright free music that they provide on YouTube, audio library for creators. It's the only safe music to use, okay, unless you buy the license. Now, there are programs out there where you can pay so much to license that music for your projects. If you want to go that route, that's fine. I want to go the free route, y'all. So I hope some of this information has helped somebody because I was so thankful to find out certain things. I was so glad that somebody took the time to explain these things. I was very grateful to find the Jamba Project. Um, very helpful tutorials. You guys, check that channel out if you want to know how on Android to get around the problem of not being able to access YouTube's audio library for music to add to your project. You're not, it's not going to happen for you with that YouTube Studio app. It's just not going to happen. So I've told you the way to get around that, and you can go to the Jamba Project for a more accurate tutorial on how to do this. Um, and lastly, you guys, yeah, there's just so much to learn as a new creator, but it's fun. It's, it's, you know, it's really fulfilling to me. Um, I really do. I love learning. I just do. It keeps my mind busy. Um, okay. One more thing that I would say, if you're like me and you want to add music to your projects okay now sometimes we just want to get the content up and we're just going to come on there and blah 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 and get it out 
But you know, yeah, if you're like me, you want an intro or you want an outro, you want a little music here and there. If you don't want to do any of what I've just mentioned, if you feel like it's too intimidating, which I promise you, once you do it, it's a cakewalk, okay? But if you just don't want to do it for some reason, you don't want to screw around with video editing programs or apps, if you don't want to deal with the YouTube uh, you know, audio library or whatever, there is one more thing that I would suggest that you do that I'm also going to do and experiment with doing. I used to record music. I had the Sony Acid Music software on my desktop about 15 years ago. I used to record music at home. I had a mic. I had a music software program producing beats and I knew how to do all that stuff. At first it was like reading Japanese but then it got easier for me, okay? So I had the music program and I don't have it anymore. But I do like to go to the Play Store and download those beat makers where you can sit and mix your own beats, your own bass, your own, you know, whatever sounds you want to kind of mix in. And you can literally go to the Play Store, download a beat maker app. You can literally mix in your own little sounds, make you a little 30 second, one minute, two minute track, save it to your phone, and that's yours. You mixed that. Once you save that project, that's yours. There is no copyright ever going to come back on you about that. You created that. It's your original music, your original sound. So that's another option that I'm going to be exploring that would be fun, creative, all, all at the same time. You're learning and you're not going to get in any trouble with that music. So that's another idea for you guys that you might try out. So anyway, I have to get off to work now, but I just wanted to come back. I did make a first part to this, but I wanted to follow up with some of the things that I have learned over the last week or so, having to do with video editing programs, adding music tracks to your video projects and your content, the legal aspects and ideas that you can use um, to get around certain things, especially if you are stuck just working with Android right now as a new creator, okay? I hope this has helped somebody, and you guys have a blessed day, and I'll be back with more soon.